Now I'm only using a single slit for this. The notion of wave particle duality and uh, the double slit experiment is bogus. What people don't realize is uh, why does light actually bend around a corner? Well, I'll explain that in the second video. Now let me lift up the black contrast card here. What I'm actually doing now here you can see it really well. Last video I couldn't get it. Do you see that? Perfect interference fringes. Now this isn't a double slit experiment. You see that? Perfect, perfect double slit experiment. Now I'll mention it in the other video as to why um, when the slit gets smaller um, the fringes basically disappear. When the slit gets larger the uh, interference increases. This is simple interference has nothing to do with wave particle duality BS at all. Now let me show you what I'm actually doing to film this. Let me turn on the light here, point it over. What I'm using is a, a precision laser pointer, not a junky laser pointer, but actually a precision one. They don't make them like that anymore. I'm passing it through the gap, um, a very thin gap of uh, less than a, about a half a millimeter gap of uh, two razor blades. Yes, that's right. Now the laser light is not going around either side of the slit. The entirety of the beam is confined by the width of the razor blade, which is about two and a half millimeters. So it's only passing through the slit. Okay? Only through the slit. Okay? Double slit experiment? Nonsense. Wave particle duality? Let me lift up this. Nonsense. Absolute nonsense. Okay? We'll explain the nature of light in the upcoming videos, but uh, Einsteinian and quantum mechanics explanation for actually everything is based upon uh, the supposed uh, physics of light, but light is a coaxial cable, okay? There is no such thing as a valid double slit experiment. Obviously the observations are valid, it's just the explanations that are invalid. The same reason that idiot Einstein won a Nobel Peace Prize Nobel Peace Prize for the photoelectric effect. They were correct observations, but the explanation was totally wrong. Okay? Descriptions and observations can be highly 100% accurate. It's the explanations where people and human beings especially screw up. Einstein was a moron. The entire basis of wave particle duality is nonsense. Light is a coaxial circuit, a longitudinal dielectric with transverse electrical and magnetic components. Obviously, so we know about the transverse components of light. But what gives light increased capacitance with shorter wavelength and the nature of light? Well, Tesla hinted at it. I've written about it in the free book, which is being expanded, Uncovering the Missing Secrets of Magnetism. Here you see perfect interference patterns. Why does light bend around corners? Okay, Why? It's the same reason why magnets attract. It's the same reason why it was observed that light from a distant star was warping around the edge of the sun during a lunar eclipse. Dielectric acceleration, that which we call gravity, it's all electrical. It is all electrical electrical only okay thanks for watching and we'll talk about this in future videos so you know everybody's been pondering about the double slit experiment well you don't need a double slit experiment i made another video where i shoot the laser beam around the eye of a needle you get the exact same thing why the answer is really simple mother nature is not an insane rabid cross-eyed hooker on crack with a calculator okay she doesn't have virtual photons and gluons and gravitons and muons and this is ridiculous. Ridiculous. This is a democratan uh, atomistic nonsense. It is nothing other than ancient Greek atomism rehashed. So, wave particle duality, nonsense. Double slit experiment, nonsense. The experiment is valid. The observations are valid. It's the conclusions that are absolute bunk. You know, it was the idiot Einstein that gave the basis for all of current quantum mechanics and saying, Ah, light acts like a particle and like a wave. So we have a wave particle duet. No, 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 no. It's very, very simple, you idiot. Light is exactly like a coax cable. Longitudinal dielectric, transverse electrical and magnetic. It's the only thing that explains the nature of light and all its properties and all its attributes. It is very simple. It is a longitudinal perturbation in the medium. Ether. Longitudinal perturbation with transverse electrical and magnetic phenomena. 
There is no such thing as a speed of light. The so-called speed of light is a rate of induction. Light absolutely slows down through glass, and it slows down through other things. Light is not a constant. It's not a constant. It is a rate, a rate of induction. The idiots of general relativity and quantum mechanics are brain dead. It is a religion of atomism.